Okay, we're in a corn field. No, we're in a wheat field. But we're going to talk about <laughs> corn broadleaf herbicides. I know it doesn't quite make sense, but it is the right time to be spraying hey, they're both corn. Grass crops. Well, okay, at least <laughs> at least we have that. And some of the chemistries used in corn exactly. can be used in wheat. Yep. That that's all fine. Let's talk about killing those broadleaf weeds in corn because it's not so simple as hey, I've got Roundup Ready corn or I've got Liberty Link corn. Those products just don't get everything. Well, they don't get everything and the reason why is we're having a lot more problems with Roundup resistance or what we call tolerance to Roundup out there with certain weeds. So what we're doing on our farm, because Roundup is ridiculously expensive this year, by the way, for next year I would expect to pay half what you are this year. So we'll see if that prediction comes true now. Yeah, but anyway, just, the point yeah. is this, if you're going to go out and spend $10 an acre on Roundup Weather Max, you know, in corn, I just don't see the point. Why don't you use a half rate of Weather Max? That would be enough for the grass that comes up and then bump your rate of some broadleaf product. You'll do a better job on the broadleaves that way. You'll still get your grass and then you won't have to worry so much about those Roundup resistant weeds. Your basic choices now are on one side, you got status, which is in the dicamba family. On the other side, you've got Callisto and Lauda or impact or impact in the other family so those are your two groups here's my recommendation I would say go out with status your advantage to using status is it's going to do a much better job on wild buckwheat and I just think it's a better overall broadleaf killer the problem with it is I think it's a little hard on corn when the corn gets big and there's more drift problem to concern yourself with Okay, now the other side of that is you could use a Callisto or Laudus or Impact. All three of those products come from the, basically the same family. They're going to turn weeds white. Now they're fairly safe products to the corn and they are labeled to spray a little bit bigger corn than what you can realistically spray dicamba products safely. So I like to use those especially where I've got water hemp or uh, velvet lambs leaf, quarters. Yep. lambs quarters, those types of weeds, they do an excellent job and it's a totally different mode of action just like the status yep. is it, to do a good job killing those it's weeds. It's just keep in mind they are weaker on buckwheat so you want to go out in your fields where you got wild buckwheat, spray those early with status, your other fields where you want to spray late, go in, and go ahead and throw in some Callisto, Loudest, something else. If you are late, let's say your corn is a foot and a half tall and you're finally out there with some Roundup and you realize oh no I got wild buckwheat, I'm not going to kill it with Callisto or loudest, throw some buckdrill in. It may burn the leaves a little bit on your corn, not bad, a little bit, but it, I mean, it doesn't really damage the corn, but that's about the only choice you have when it gets real late for buckwheat. Okay, let's talk about atrazine because we get a lot of questions about atrazine. Yep. Atrazine is really safe to apply to corn at any stage. It's labeled up to 12 inch tall corn. That's an EPA thing. It's not a crop safety issue that they had, but is it safe in all these tank mixes? Well, it's safe in the tank mixes. The only problem is when you throw atrazine together with Roundup, it is going to reduce the performance of the Roundup slightly. And the reason why is, like our dad always used to say, you know what the antidote for Roundup is? Dirt. You throw dirt in with Roundup, it is neutralized just like that. The problem with atrazine is, what's the carrier for atrazine? It's clay. Dirt. Okay, you throw atrazine in your tank, you're neutralizing some of your Roundup. Now, it's not a big deal if you're already throwing out three times too much Roundup, but you know, this year, a lot of people are shaving their Roundup rates because Roundup's so expensive. Yeah. So anyway, I, I guess you can throw atrazine in, just keep in mind it does neutralize Roundup to some degree. There are a lot of choices for killing broadleaf weeds in corn. We're going to talk about which of these choices may work on our Weed of the Week coming up next.